I mean, going forward, so, so you've got the Ivy Shop. The Ivy Shop is a magnificent success. There's kids queuing up. So this, is, this is absolutely your aesthetic. And clearly lots and lots of kids get it and young men get it and they're buying it and all of that. But yeah. fashion, the whole point of fashion is it changes, doesn't it? And as we said, by the, by the mid-60s, late 60s, it's starting to go a bit different, isn't it? Well, there was, uh, aside from us... And influenced by us, the skinhead thing was sort of taking How place. Did, what, did, Brutus, do you remember blah, first blah. seeing a guy with a crop, number one crop come in the shop? Or? No. <laughs> I don't remember, but so, there were plenty of them. Were yeah. there? Because <laughs> that would have been, you know, my, my brother Reggie would have made that pilgrimage yeah. from Burnt Oak over there. But to, the ones who came in our shop usually were a little higher level. They were yeah. very smart. Well, nice Skinner, I've on. always thought, was the smartest of the lot. Yeah, yeah, they were, they were really sharp. They were very, very smart guys, even though some of them were pretty lethal as well. 